this is the way. Hello again. So I, like many people on this planet, really love Star Wars. <laughs> You know, I love the movies, they're great, but what I really love is Star Wars TV. <laughs> Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, my ultimate fave, and The Mandalorian. I just think the stories that are being told on the fringe of the main mythos are some of the most interesting. And one character that has appeared in all three of those shows very recently is, of course, my girl Ahsoka Tano. Now, if you're watching this and you don't know who Ahsoka Tano is, she is a Togruta, she was the Padawan to to Anakin Skywalker and I would like to be here please. So today I'm going to be doing an Ahsoka Tano outfit make. This will be done in the same vein as my Haunted Mansion outfit where instead of doing an extremely faithful recreation I'm going to take elements of her outfit and her look and work them into an everyday style. Disney bounding basically. I would like to be her as soon as possible so let's get started. <laughs> I quickly sketched this out last night so I'd have a bit of a game plan for today. So I am planning on making a pinafore dress in a orangey, ready, really, color to mimic her skin tone. Ahsoka's actual costume has changed a number of times over the seasons and series, so I'm sort of taking inspiration from a bunch of them and a lot of series, and I think you can even see it on this Lego. Uh, a lot of her armor has this chest plate, which sort of called to mind the pinafore type shape. I'm going to make some crochet arm warmers to sort of mimic her bracers, and I'm going to make a flap eared cap crocheted as well. White with blue stripes to mimic her, her beautiful, oh, what are they called? Legu? Leku? Gosh, I'm a fake fan. <laughs> and if I have time, I'm also going to attempt to make a belt. All right, so let's get started on the pinafore. My map fell off the wall, so I'm just gonna have to deal with a blank space until I can fix it and put it back up. This is a sheet that I got from the charity shop and dyed this color. I think when it was dyeing, because it was such a big piece of fabric, the dye, I don't know, got caught in a few places. So in some places, there are these light blue spots. For a different project, I think that would be a big problem, but for this one, since she has those blue tones in her look, I think it will work. I don't really have another option, so it'll work. So we have drafted and cut everything out. So now I am going to be pinning the straps together and ditching them up. While I'm pinning these together, I'll just talk a little bit more about Ahsoka and why I love her. I think her being in Anakin's story really gives just that bit more context about his transformation and why he really came to turn against the Jedi. It obviously had been building up for a long time, but their blaming of Ahsoka and mistrust of Ahsoka, the Jedi Council, was sort of the final nail in the coffin for both Anakin and Ahsoka. I know some people were really nervous about Ahsoka being in The Mandalorian. Are they going to change her or what have you? But Ahsoka is like Dave Filoni's baby. I trust him and I really liked her portrayal so far. I want more live action Ahsoka. And that's what I have to say about it. It's looking pretty good. Got my waistband on. Now it's really just time to attach the pieces. Also, apologies for the atrocious lighting. All semblance of sun has left England. <laughs> Look 
looking less crazy now that she's all done. Now that this big piece is out of the way, it's time to get working on the accessories. So we're gonna get to work on her bracers next. Depending on which series you're watching, her bracers can be anywhere from mid forearm to all the way up here. I'm going somewhere in the middle. Now I'm a fairly experienced crocheter, so I'm just winging this more or less. I'm making a long back rectangle until it wraps around my arm and then we'll be stitching it up leaving room for my thumb. Look at me pretending that I filmed this all on the same day. I even put on the same shirt and skirt trying to fool you but I filmed that yesterday of course. Crocheting takes a while. Okay, so I have crocheted as much as I can and it's almost done, but I've run out of yarn and it's not quite enough for the widest part of my arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go in with this thinner black yarn and this multi-tonal red warm toned ball of yarn. I'm gonna double them up and I'm gonna try to create like a like a triangle panel to ease in that area. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is where we're at now. They're pretty much done. All I need to do is go in and stitch along the sides, making room for my little triangles and they'll be all done. Welcome to 3 p.m. in England. You know, basically the middle of the night. With the arm pieces all done, it's time to get to the final step. And that is the ear flap cap to mimic her leku. I was right before. I did get started on this yesterday. It's looking a little bit like I'm getting ready for Hanukkah at the moment, which is, is not bad, but it's not what I'm going for. So I'm hoping that coming down further, it'll look a little bit more like what it's supposed to. <laughs> now this one I am not winging, I'm following this pattern here. This is a free download on the site Ravelry so if you are a crocheter and you want to make this hat I'll leave a link down below and I will get to finishing this hat. Okay, it's looking pretty good now. So I'm just going to go in and finish it off, weave in the ends, get changed, and then it's time for the reveal. made it? Yeah, I think it turned out okay. <laughs> it's not my number one favorite thing I've ever made and I don't necessarily feel like I did her justice. I feel like I'm more um, the spirit of an X-Wing pilot <laughs> with the, the black and the orange than I am a Sokotano with this being my R2-D2 piloting <laughs> said X-Wing. So there are things I would change. It was fun spending the day thinking about my girl Soka and getting excited and hyped about all the cool new things happening in the Star Wars universe. If I had more time, things might turn out a little bit different. And I would love to hear what you thought. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos every Friday. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.